Hi, this is Scott with a special segment of Righteous Vinyl. You all know this guy from... I'm your host, Joe, from Sit and Spin. And we're going to be talking about our top five picks from 2013 on this uh, first joint venture between Sit and Spin and Righteous Vinyl. We are here in the house of Righteous Vinyl, most specifically, because we are talking about vinyl releases. Good Got stuff. it, vinyl. Yeah, so thanks for hitting play on the video and finding out what's on the turntable this time around. And uh, there's quite a stack of wax to go through, so yes. we're going to get started and uh, start right away. And Joe, what do you got for us first? First up, I have got um, a cheat, a bit of a cheat. This actually came out in 2012, but because the movie that it is a soundtrack to didn't get released on DVD and video until this year, and I didn't see it till this year, or really get introduced to this guy's music until this year, uh, I'm going with it anyway. I don't care. It is the soundtrack <laughs> to Searching for Sugarman, which is the documentary about Sisto Rodriguez, or just Rodriguez as he's often known, who is kind of a Latin American um, folk rock psychedelic artist from back in the day who music kind of got passed over and nobody really heard about it, but it's really great stuff. If you're like me at all, at once you see this documentary or listen to this music, you will become a fan if you've never heard of it before. Great stuff. It basically serves as a greatest hits to overview to his entire career. Uh, but, man, I probably drove my wife crazy listening to this all the time. Really, really good stuff. So, Searching for Sugarman Soundtrack. First one up on me. Scott. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I haven't seen the movie or heard any of the music yet, so I'm a little embarrassed about that one, and that's that's on my to-do list. Copy too, it, yeah. <laughs> my first pick for 2013 was a surprise uh, find in one of the local record stores, and it is the album from 2000. It's a little bit jazzy, a little bit uh, new agey, and uh, a little no, bit... A little bit country. Uh, no. <laughs> and uh, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, Trip hop? No, no, no. A little bit uh, sampling. Uh, ah, so, yes. But anyway, it is uh, the album from 2000, St. Germain, and it is Tourist. Uh, tracks on this album right. include, so Flute, and one of my favorite tracks uh, is called Land Of. This is a uh, two-record set. It's on one 80-gram vinyl. If you're into jazz and into like a little bit of fusion, this is the album to pick out. I did not know that this was going to be released out on vinyl, and so this is this was a surprise pickup for uh, 2013, and that's my first selection, my first righteous vinyl selection for this segment. A uh, great pick too. Um, some of my favorite tracks on that album are "Shirking" and "Rose Rouge." I just spilled my pile of records, but that's okay. <laughs> Sticking with the uh, soundtrack theme, this was a record store day exclusive. They only made five thousand copies of this puppy uh, from one of my favorite movies of all time, "Days of Confused." And the soundtrack to that movie, this was actually they did two soundtracks to the movie. This was the first one. I'm hoping for a record store day this year that they'll actually release the second one on vinyl too. But a great collection of '70s classic rock tunes uh, like "Kiss." Fog Hat, ZZ Top, The Runaways, Leonard Skinner, and also comes on not just limited numbered vinyl, but a marbled green vinyl release too. Great stuff, sounds awesome, really good from the folks at Rhino Records. Next up, my righteous vinyl uh, pick is from one of our favorite all time uh, favorite uh, performers, guitarists. Ah, uh, yes. And it is the 1998 re release of Eric Clapton and the album Pilgrim. Tracks included on this album are, of course, My Father's Eyes, the title track from the album, one and of my one of my favorite tracks, uh, one of the more upbeat ones, is called She's Gone. Yes. Joe and I had the uh, opportunity to see Eric Clapton in concert about 30 feet away from the stage way back in 2001, 2001. Yeah. and I've uh, always been a fan ever since. But also, and uh, I was very surprised when, when I came across this one as well. And again, 180 gram vinyl, and it is a two record, two record set as well. And if you read my year-end uh, top 20 favorite picks of the year, this one shouldn't be any surprise. Uh, record I kept finding myself going back to again and again. It, it, it is the album Paracosm by the band Washed Out, uh, pretty much otherwise known as Ernst Green. Great stuff. Uh, one of the other things I really like about Washed Out's releases is uh, just the presentation of the packaging, too, as well as the great music. Uh, nice embossed album covers. They all come with downloads. And uh, colored vinyl, too. It's a really cool violet colored vinyl on this. Uh, besides just being an awesome chill wave record, um, one of my definitely one of my favorite releases just period yeah. for the past year. Just really, really good yeah, stuff. Yeah, Joe highly recommended this album to me, and I also picked it up on vinyl as well. 
and uh, yeah. listened to a nice chill out album. Just just and great like me, stuff. also went back and got the rest of the band's catalog. That's as well, right. Yeah. So. Next up is my favorite comeback band, and I don't want to rehash last week's right righteous final segment, but it is. Toad the Wet Sprocket and mm. New Constellation. I'm not going to go into a lot with this one, but I love, love, love this album. Uh, you know, 16 years uh, from their last album, and uh, which was uh, Coil, I believe. And, yes. uh, I mean, I cannot say enough about this album. And, uh, Me either. You know, I, I did a whole segment on it. So it's, I also... It's, Yep, it's, did the show. that's right. Yeah, Joe did 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 the release when the album yeah. came out in October, and then when it was released on vinyl, I, I did my segment last week and as well. Likewise, would have been on my list if I'd gotten the vinyl yet. I haven't picked it up on vinyl yet, but uh, hair's breath away from being like number one release pick of the year for me because just that good. And what's great about the vinyl version is it comes with four bonus tracks that were previously only available if you contributed to the band's Kickstarter campaign that funded the record. Uh, so you get those tracks, and those songs are every bit as good as the songs that made the album proper. In fact, a couple of them are my favorite songs on the album in general, so I'm glad that they included them on the vinyl version. I can't wait to pick that up either. Uh, my next pick, again, I'm on this, still the soundtrack kick thing, but... Um, <laughs> It was a great year for uh, for rock documentaries in particular. Uh, probably my favorite one of the whole year uh, was Big Star's Nothing Can Hurt Me. And this is the soundtrack from that documentary put out by Omnivore Records, uh, one of my favorite record companies th for releasing uh, re-releases and new release issues and stuff. Um, Cheryl Powell Weskin and, and the group over at Omnivore do a great job. This was the, uh, you can get this on standard black vinyl now, but this is the limited edition Record Store Today version, which came on a cool translucent orange vinyl. It's great uh, alternate versions and mixes of Big Star's classic songs, as well as stuff from Alex Chilton Solo and Chris Bell. The version of I Am The Cosmos from Chris Bell that is on this is stunningly beautiful. It's like one of the most painfully, achingly, heartbreaking songs you'll ever hear. And uh, this was actually my... I'd never heard it before until I'd seen the movie. And it just has become like um, one of my favorite things. I listened to this puppy all year long. It was on a big, big star kick all summer long, mainly because of this record release. Cool. Next up is the best sounding re-release of 2013. This album originally came out in 1972. And it is David Bowie and the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. This is the most surprisingly great sounding vinyl record that I've heard in a long time. I mean, a lot of uh, audiophiles are familiar with this album. Uh, not only does it come with a 180 gram vinyl album, but it also comes with a DVD that includes a, a surround sound track that is in both DTS and in Dolby, and also comes with a, a digital uh, two-track stereo mix as well, which sounds incredible. I can't say enough about this album as well. I was reintroduced to this album, and I, I just I have a greater appreciation for it now. And uh, if you're into Bowie, especially uh, a lot of the early 70s to mid-70s stuff, this is the album to get. Great stuff. I, again, another one that could have easily made my list. Uh, and it was, like Scott said, it was like being introduced to the record for the first time. Just a really great mix uh, sound on the vinyl. And I also like, too, that on the actual inner label, uh, they did it to look like the old school RCA Records label logo. But instead of saying RCA, it says Bowie. It's Bowie. And uh, just... The packaging on that is fantastic. I am hopeful. Uh, I've heard the rumors that they are going to be doing a lot more uh, Bowie reissues this coming year, and I'm very much looking forward to those coming out, especially if they're anywhere near on par with this release. And um, one of my last picks is also um, probably one of my most well-received shows from last year. Uh, Jellyfish, Radio Jellyfish. If you saw my show on this, um, I'm not going to go too much in depth in it, but it's just a great album of uh, live acoustic versions of some of the band's best songs, previously unreleased before, uh, from one of the greatest power pop bands that ever released. It's on uh, limited, translucent vinyl, also from the fine folks at Omnivore. Uh, you guys rock my world. And so, not going too much further into that. <laughs> <laughs> my last pick for 2013 is an album that in one of my segments that it was the only time I fe featured a CD release on a vinyl mm -hmm. show, but the album did come out on vinyl, and I did a second show when the vinyl came out. 
This is in my Righteous Vinyl, The Sun Also Rises category. And, and you guys are probably going to guess what it is anyway, but it is Sound of Contact and the album Dimensionaut. And of course, the lead singer for Sound of Contact is Simon Collins, yes, the son of Phil Collins. If you are into classic rock, this is a great new album to listen to. I cannot say enough about this album as well. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like I don't like to make comparisons between Simon and Phil. I mean, I've been a Phil Collins fan, Joe knows this, and a Genesis fan mm -hmm. since as long as I can remember. And the drumming sounds a lot like Dad, no doubt about it. But Simon, uh, in himself, he, I mean, he's, he's a songwriter in his own right, and I, I believe that he deserves the, the accolades and the, and the credentials and, and everything that goes yeah. along with it that, that his dad has. And I would say, if you're into listening to classic rock and, and like concept albums as well, I would say pick, yeah, pick up this stuff. album enough. And, and I, I always post on, on Righteous Vinyl, I'm, all, I'm always posting stuff from uh, Simon Collins' page, and, uh, you know, I'm friends with him on Facebook. Not that I've had the opportunity to talk to him direct, but, you know, it's I'm, I'm going to be following him for, for quite a long yeah. time. And hopefully I, I wish him a, a great and a, and a prosperous career. So I like that uh, he takes, like, the germ of the seed of what he learned from Dad and the sounds of Genesis and Phil's drumming and just makes his own new thing out of it. It's You know, so you have the echoes of the past but it's presented in its own new way. It's great stuff. So that's going to do it for our joint venture of Sit and Spin. Mash and, up with Righteous Vinyl. And Righteous Vinyl. And always a shout out to my friend Joe over at Sit and Spin. This is where Scott goes on automatic pilot. And my friend Scott at Righteous Vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> and the guys over on Riff of the Day, Gino, the Godfather, right, Pete, Joe. and uh, the uh, world famous truck driver, Sean. I'm wearing my Gino Abe's approved wear today. And don't mind the hat head, it's snowing Sorry. Yeah, which it always does here yeah. in Maine, but anyway. And uh, this is Scott Oliver with Righteous Vinyl, always reminding and you, Sinspin. and Joe from Sin Spin, <laughs> no matter what spins in your life, make sure that it is playing your favorite type of music. And we'll see you next time on Sin Spin and Righteous Take Vinyl. Easy. Thanks. Yeah.